I made these bookmarks from Samaru roses at the hotel. I want to give them to Amber, Master Tainari, and Sino. During Windbloom, Monsetters offer flowers to the people most important to them. You three are family to me. But Tainari said that we're not anything like an academic family. He wouldn't write joint papers with us. Well, in this case, we can consider ourselves as regular siblings. And that should be just fine. <laughs> I agree. Oh, and here are some Padisara seeds as well. These are for the Traveler, Haimon, and everyone else from Mondstadt. Whoa, are these really for us? So, are these your chosen Wimblums? Mm-hmm, one of them. Both Potty Sours and Samara Roses are my Windblooms. Although they're not native to Mondstadt, they are the flowers that can best express my feelings. I want to give them to the people I feel thankful for. To those who... I wish to accompany as we greet more seasons and future wind blooms together. The real blessing in life is when you are surrounded by people who you'd miss day and night, and who you'd want to see even if that meant crossing mountains and oceans to do so. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you say that. <gasps> Sucrose, do you see that cloud over there? Huh? Doesn't it look just like your test tube? Am, am I? Am I dreaming? Uh, Miss Ying Art, you really came all the way to Mondstadt to see me? Why were you willing to make the trip? I still can't believe it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to come see you, hmm? It's not like a quick trip from Liyue to Mondstadt is completely unheard of or anything. Also, isn't it time for you to drop the miss and just call me Yingar? Uh, Yingar. Mm-hmm. Yingar. <laughs> I, I, I think I still need some time to get used to calling you that. <laughs> Look at you, already so flustered. And we're just getting started. Uh, no, no, I, uh, I... Uh, I'm just overwhelmed with happiness. Thank you so, so much for coming to see me for Windbloom. You like the card back from Sino, right? I must admit, I also spent a good amount of effort coming up with a design. His request was quite... Uh, interesting. He wanted a dragon, a cool pose, and a design that would stand out and awe his opponents. Although the commission was for himself, he wanted the back to be flashy enough to draw the attention of the opposing player. Perhaps... There's something that can be said about how, when it comes to genius invocation TCG, friendship is more important than competition. He also said that such an impressive card back should be shared with friends. Since he gave it to you, this must mean he considers you to be a close friend. Oh, and speaking of, to repay my efforts, he also gifted me the card back as well. Hmm... Maybe I'll also give the game a try. I quite like my new card back. It goes perfectly with my deck. I take it you've also received your card back? Want to use it to play around? You played well. 
Let's have a rematch in a few minutes. My judgment has failed. A well-deserved victory. Well, what do you think? I trust you've enjoyed this year's Windbloom Festival. I'm happy to see you find the time amidst your busy adventures to return to Mondstadt and celebrate the winds of freedom with us. And if you have a moment now, would you care to hear a new love poem I wrote this year? <clears throat> Allow me to recite it for you. This world has never seen such vibrant color. It bestows upon everyone a brilliant hue. A shade more ethereal than white, yet more radiant still than gold. It eases into your eyes and restores to light a solitary soul. Hmm, maybe a bit too somber. <laughs> uh, maybe I should write another one on sweet flowers instead. Sucrose! I brought some home-cooked food. Why don't we enjoy it together? Really? Sounds great! I, I... must point out a small issue about your cooking. You have a tendency to... put a little too much flavoring in your dishes. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I've been a little heavy-handed with the seasonings lately. Are you feeling stressed recently? Do you want to find someone to play cards with? It really helps with stress. I promise. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. If I recall, both you and Sucrose are pretty good players, right? Oh, yeah, we are. We've been playing together, and we were actually talking about this just a few days ago. Since you are already familiar, would you mind also showing me the rules sometime? Yeah, Kali seems to be a natural at the game. Maybe she's already the best player out of all of us. Huh? Me? That's right. You've been all talk at the tavern. That little girl from Sumeru is really good at the game. If I can find the chance, I would love to test my skills against her. Really? Isn't that great, Kali? You've become a TCG celebrity. Oh, I... I... <laughs> Thank you so much for your surveying tips. I had no idea that the Sumeru Forest Watchers would also have expertise in this area. You really do know just about everything. It's only natural that Forest Watchers and Surveyors would have some similar skills. We're both constantly outdoors and on the move after all. Anyway, I'm glad I could help. If I can find a chance, Oh, I'd love to pay a visit to Sumeru as well. I've heard that the terrain is quite complicated there, and it'd be a treat to see it for myself. Yes, complicated is indeed one way to put it. Visitors often get lost when they visit Sumeru for the first time, and they have a tendency to pick all kinds of mushrooms and fruits in the rainforest without discretion. Ah, uh, we get a lot of people here picking philanimal mushrooms as well. Actually... Have you ever tried adding them to a recipe? They are quite bland by themselves, but perhaps the taste can be improved if they're cooked together with other ingredients. I've never tried that myself, but now that you mention it, I do want to give it a try. I'm quite curious too. Would you like to pick some together later? I 
found a four-leaf clover. It's so pretty. Do you like it? Huh? Is it for me? Thank you, Clee. Um, could you also say something nice to Clee? Oh, of course. <clears throat> I've actually gotten really good at this. Hmm. Oh, Miss Clee, our mighty spark knight, you are the flame of hope for all of Mondstadt and the vessel for... Huh? What's a vessel? Oh, no, uh, Clee doesn't seem to really appreciate this kind of praise. Uh, okay, then. Clee, you're super adorable and your hat and backpack are the cutest. Uh, did your mom get them for you? Yep. Mom said that she picked them out with Dodoko, and Dodoko really loves this backpack, too, which is why Dodoko's always hanging from the side. Mom also said that someone else was also helping her pick out the gifts that day. Um, hmm, what was the name again? Ah, if Klee remembers correctly, people would call her the Old Hag. Wait, the Old Hag? Huh. Okay, well, now that you mention it, the old hag does have a fondness for picking out hats. Oh, hey there, traveler. Nice to see ya. <laughs> well, Sino's out of the country on a trip, so he got me to come and help his subordinates take care of a few things. I guess you can say I'm his temporary substitute. The atmosphere around here is not too bad nowadays, so I don't mind sticking around once in a while. You've probably got a lot going on yourself, I bet. Good luck with everything. Sataria, you should take a break and have a bite to eat. Sataria? Ah, uh, thank you. Sorry, I was completely absorbed in what I was doing. I didn't even hear your voice. Oh, it's all right. I'm glad that you enjoy the work you're doing. Sorry you've ended up having to babysit me. I'm sure you have far more important things to do. Well, Rahman's busy with the Eremites these days. But having me stand in as your bodyguard must be a welcome breath of fresh air for you. It's a change for me, too. My first time working as a bodyguard. I'm just treating it as a chance to get a taste of Dia's line of work. I tried telling Mahamatra Sino that I can work unsupervised. Really, this ought to be the last of his worries. He said that educators willing to work in the desert are an extremely rare breed, so I need a bodyguard for protection at all times. I think he's being a little overprotective. But, at the end of the day, that's why we know we can count on the General Mahamatra. He and I are of the same mind in this case, so I am very happy to protect you. While you're in our village, we're partners. We don't want to cause you any unnecessary pressure. So please, try to enjoy your time here. <laughs> 